Hello, my name is Ben Sherry, and I'm here to announce the winner of the Atomos Lockdown Safari short film competition. First of all, thank you everyone who entered. It was amazing to go through such a wide variety of films and really hard to cut this down to just five films in our shortlist and eventually came out with a winner. I was really inspired to see the wide variety of films which were produced from our relatively open brief and how you guys took real um, innovation with the sound, the narrative and the visuals which you eventually came up with in a relatively short period of time. So uh, thank you for inspiring me and for taking part and well done to all of you who have been shortlisted. So without further ado, here is our first film. This is by uh, Michael Thomas. This uh, really stood out to me because of the quality of some of the, the bird filming shots going on here. Really nice, uh, crisp images of, of beautiful uh, European birds, like particularly this chaffinch here, you know, a gorgeous light and really nice clear image coming out of this. And it's uh, really beautiful. And this cheeky blue tick grabbing some nest material a really lovely little insights into these little birds' lives. So combining these beautiful uh, bird shots with some really amazing wild track sounds gives a tremendous sense of place to this and it's uh, wonderful to see what you've produced, Michael. So next on the list is Night Safari by Matt Davies. I thought this showed a huge amount of skill in the use of time lapsing at the start and end of the film. And the whole theme in general I thought was fantastic. The brilliant lighting and grade you went for with this I thought really added to the theme in what you were trying to create here with this nighttime view of your backyard. And what was particularly impressive is, is your macro work, you, you know, amazing how you were following the ants and then the use of music to build up the anticipation of what was going on. And I just, I found it really enthralling and I thought it was beautifully done. So well done to Matt. Next on the list is Silly Bird by Danielle Piatti. And I thought this was just really, really good fun. There. This is my world. I thought it was a really clever spin on the theme and, and what you created. I love the whole narrative throughout the short. You surely guessed it. This is me. Ooh, we're high up here. The city is rather empty. It was very relatable in that we all see pigeons around the place and I really liked what you were doing with the storyline. I thought it was brilliant and it put a smile on my face, so well done. Off we go. Oh, what a pain in the neck. Let's get out of here. The city is rather... I think the combination of the music you chose and your brilliant narration really adds a sense of fun to this piece and combining that with the comedic shots you've got of the pigeons and then of the girls and how you brought it all together I thought was fantastic and I really really enjoyed it. And at number two we have Nick Murphy with Garden Safari. I was so impressed in the skill in both your shooting and your editing and how you put this together. I thought it was amazing how you created so much motion with often either really big scale things like as you were wrapping around a tree or relatively small things like leaves and I thought it was fantastic and there was always a sense of movement. And even though you've got some exotic animals in your garden like the monkeys coming through which are great, um, it's actually the, the flora and the insect stuff which really impressed me. You know, some, some of the best shots for me were the ants you've got crawling on the fence which I just thought were amazing how you were following them and that came across so smoothly with a lovely shallow depth of field all backlit and you were moving around them. I thought that was really beautiful. But finally the winner. Uh, I chose this because it blended fantastic uh, shooting skill uh, and the way in which this was crafted. I thought it's, it's very beautiful with a really strong storyline and great narration. So I've, uh, my winner is Mantis Munch by Joe Lowry.
In a small backyard in Aotearoa, an overseas visitor has taken up residence. It's autumn in New Zealand, and a cool change in the weather brings about mating season. The pacing of this is really beautiful, how you build up that sense of place as to where we are, and then eventually come into the mantis that itself as your main character. This female praying mantis has recently mated, and now she is hunting for food while preparing to lay her egg case. Building up the character as well, this I just thought it was really beautifully done in, in a compact mantis, amount of time. Springbok mantis, originally from South Africa, but discovered in New Zealand in the late 1970s. Today, she has decided that this household rubbish bin is a good place to hunt. You know, there's, there's behavior on show here with the mantis hunting. You know, there's fantastic music to build up the anticipation of what's going on. This is a really nice story arc. Plenty of houseflies are attracted by the smell, and the bright yellow color even brings a more delicious prize, a honeybee. Though I have to say, it's pretty brutal watching that honeybee being eaten alive, isn't it, by that mantis? But wow, fantastically vivid shots and the, and the color grade and how those colors pop is really beautiful. I really enjoyed this, this short film because it has a fantastic narrative throughout. It takes you on a little journey and leaves you with quite a strong ending, you know, with this imposing mantis staring down at you, wondering what it's going to eat next. So well done to Joe for winning the Atmos Lockdown Safari short film competition. It's a fantastic film. And thank you to everyone else who entered as well. Um, it's been a joy to be a part of, and thank you Atmos for putting on this fantastic competition.